Hey guys, this is Kevin here from the Geek Review channel and in this video we are going to learn how to uninstall exposed framework that we installed in the last video. So the first thing that we need is we need this uninstall zip file. So you can download the zip file from the link in the description and once you download it you need to copy it and you need to paste it in your phone's internal memory. So here you go, once you have done that. Now the next thing would be to get the phone to recovery mode. So to get the phone to recovery mode, we will directly give a command. So you can press shift and right click on your mouse and open command window and type a command adb reboot recovery and press enter and this command will help your phone reboot directly into recovery So once we are in recovery mode, we need to click on install and scroll all the way down and you will find the uninstaller zip. So just click on it and we just need to swipe to uninstall. And there you go, it's done. So now what we need to do is we need to go back and we need to wipe catch and Dalvik catch. So we'll do that right now. And we'll wait for the phone to wipe catch and Dalvik catch. So as you can see it's showing that the wipe is complete now we need to reboot our phone so click on reboot and select system
So the next step would be to open the APK and once you open it and click on framework you will see that it will show that the exposed framework is not installed. So the next step would be to uninstall this APK. And there you go, we have successfully uninstalled Exposed. So now the next step would be to restore the Thing Free APK that we extracted from our system memory to create some space. So to do that, we will open ES File Explorer. We click on the SD card, that's our internal memory. And if you remember, we had saved a backup in the name of APK backup. So we'll open the folder. We'll again open the folder here. And what we'll do is we'll select these two files, click on copy, and we'll go to device, system, app, and scroll all the way down and click on thing free folder and we'll paste it here. And once we do that, now comes the interesting part. We need to change the permission of uh, these files. So in terms of an APK, what we'll do is we'll just hold our finger and select this. We'll click on more. We'll go to properties. And out here, if you look at the permission, we have to change this. So so out here, you need to remove execute for all the groups owner group and others and uh, in terms of group and others you need to remove the writing permission also so just in case if you are restoring any system application the moment you restore it you have to change the permission this is how it should it should be uh, the owner should have the read and write permission and the, the group and others should have the read permission so press ok so one job done. Now the next thing would be to click on the library folder. So whenever it comes to a folder, the permission will be a bit different. So click on property and out here we need to click on read and execute for group and even for others we need to click on read and execute and press OK. So this is how the permission should be for any folder. And once we do that, we need to get inside this folder and again we need to click on properties and change the permission. Since it's a folder, again we need to give the read and execute permission for group and even read and execute permission for others. And once we have done that, so now these files again, they'll have the same permission like uh, that of an APK. So just hold your finger, click on more 
properties and change the permission so for owner it will be read and write you don't need to give execute uh, permission for group the permission only has to be read and even for others the uh, permission only has to be read so click ok and now we will do the same for all these files one by one make sure you remove the tick mark from the previous file so remember we have to only give permission read and write for owner group and others it should only be read permission always make sure to remove the tick mark from the previous file That's it, few more files to go. There you go, we are done. So now let's go back and click on the Thing Free APK. And here we need to install it again. So again, we need to go to settings and we have to activate the unknown source. Then click install. So just in case if you want to remove any system file and restore it back, this would be the process. Now again for safety reason just deactivate unknown sources and your device is safe. So now all we need to do is we need to restart or reboot our phone. So let's do that. So let me give a command. So let's press shift and right click on the desktop itself and open command window and give a command adb reboot device so without touching your phone you will reboot your device
so your phone will show android is upgrading one app So there you go now if we go to storage space and if we click on mounted partition so we'll see that we only have 18 MB of system memory left so we have successfully restored thing free application so now if in case you want to relock your bootloader and you want to go totally stock I'll attach a link of a video and you will be guided how to relock your bootloader, how to unroot your phone and go totally stock. So you can follow that video. So if you like my tutorial, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, that's Geek Review. Do write down if in case you're facing any issue. This is Kevin signing off from Geek Review.